Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and over the past six or seven years it's been a bit of a tradition around here to give you guys a Halloween special. Well I've been ill all week so this is admittedly a little late but in today's video I want to show you how you can go about making your own little Halloween build and I want to give you some of the tips that some of the better builders in our community would use to take some Something very simple and just add that little extra bit of flair. So walk through me today as I give you five tips on how to build the ultimate Halloween base and hopefully by the end of it you will learn something new. So let's begin. Five. So this is the simple house that we'll be transforming today. So let's start off with tip number one and that is get out your paintbrush because painting is going to make a really awesome effect, especially when building a Halloween town. And the color I really like to go with is actually just an orange, because you can go for deep orange, and that will make everything a little bit too saturated. And you can also go for gray, and that has a very nice effect. But what you want to start doing is just painting the floor. Make all of this grass just orange, and it's going to look pretty autumn pretty quickly. I mean, this literally looks like my back garden right now because it's covered in leaves. But what you can also do is paint these leaves as well. Terraria has a really awesome system where essentially if you hit it in the right spot, it will just paint the leaves. And because this paint is so light, you're not actually affecting any of the trunks as well. So definitely get your paintbrush out. Get painting the floor because it's going to give you a really awesome uh, bit of scenery to, to build around. Four. Now, for step number two, this all comes down to windows. So you can, in fact, just build windows into your build, you know, like everybody else does. But to give it a Halloween-y vibe, swap out glass for some of this topaz back wall. Because when you look at it from afar... It looks Halloween-y. I mean, we've all seen those classic Halloween houses where everything is dark and the only thing that's bright is the cliche yellow windows. I think these look great. They're a little bit bright right now because it's obviously, uh, well, it's very dark right now. But I feel like that's a pretty good change. Now, this would work better if you've actually built a roofing area. So say, for example, you've built a large tower like this you can add these little windows to it so that it kind of doesn't actually take place inside of the build. If you don't fancy those sort of windows though, if you're using regular glass, I really like adding some red paint to them, some deep red paint, so that when you can see the background scrolling past, it has a bit of a tint to it and it looks really good. Three. Now this next tip is actually something I learned last night from a Terraria spoiler. I think this is so awesome. So what you can do is you can slap down orange blood roots just like this coming out of the ceiling. And if you actually take the time to paint them, they look great. Like if I paint this black, it really looks like my walls are beginning to crack downwards. This effect is kind of dulled out by the fact that this backdrop is actually so dark. But if you were to do it on something like ebon wood instead of spooky wood, I think it looks awesome. Like to make it look like the whole background is cracking and falling apart. That really adds to the haunted house vibe. I think that's such a cool thing. And thank you to everyone who pointed this out on my spoiler video because I was very unsure how to do it, but I'm so glad we uh, we discovered it together. Two. This next tip is kind of a few tips mixed into one. I'm cheating a little bit, but one of the things I really like to add to a Halloween build that's very simple is cobwebs. Cobwebs make everything look mysterious, and if you're building using purples, the white and the purple go really well together. And I also kind of like adding dungeon spikes and painting them red to imply that blood has splattered all over them. Now, there is actually pumpkin sets and spooky sets of furniture. I find them to be very bright, and if you want to tone that down, take out your grey paint and paint them. Also, a little music box goes a long way, although it's not technically a build. So, here's my real tip. Add a crimson water fountain if you've got water nearby. These things just look plain awesome, that's the truth, and then once you've turned them on, everything gets 
a little bit strange. So this will actually transform all of the water in the area to blood. And that looks great. It really adds to the atmosphere of the build. And it's such a simple thing. And it looks great in motion. Just look at that thing. One. So the very last thing you need in your haunted house is a trap door. Where does this trap door lead? Well, it of course leads down to your dungeon. So you can make this as large or as small as you want. But definitely add one. If you're going to build a haunted house, it needs pressure plates that take you to different areas. Think Luigi's Mansion. What's going to be behind a bookcase? Who knows? But that's kind of up to you to decide. So I hope today's video inspired you a little bit to do some more building. I really like what we came up with. It's very simple and that's what I wanted to go with. But I also wanted to give you guys some tips so that you can use these in much larger builds. But that's going to be it for today's Halloween special, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, please be sure to click that subscribe button. By joining the channel, you will be part of everyone who has joined before. We're trying to hit half a million subscribers before the next update, and you could be part of that. Right, thank you all for watching, guys. Peace.